Hi guys, welcome to the fifth episode of the How to Make a Roblox Rig series. In today's episode, I will be showing you how to do the torso vertex groups. I'm showing you how to do this in a specific episode in itself because it is harder to do than the rest. Um, when you exclude the bends and stuff, there is more work that needs to be put into it. So I will be showing you this in its own episode today. So what we're going to do first is talk about bone layers. As you can see right here in the object data properties, when you are selecting an armature, there are different layers. And these are basically where you group all of your bones in. So like, let's say this is the, this is a main group. So this is a main bone layer in which we're putting every single bone that we need in here. And when we need to add stuff that we want to hide, just switch to another one. And you can use any one that you want. It's literally up to you. And we're going to be taking advantage of this bone layer feature for our torso. So how we're going to be doing our torso is using bendy bones. Bendy bones are literally just segmented bones. So they just, they're built, they're built out, out of different segments. It's really useful. Let me show you. So we're going to switch to this bone layer right here. It can be any, any that you want. And we're going to make, we're going to go into edit mode right here. So add a bone and what we're going to do is we're going to move it up here. So, uh, the head goes to the base of the torso and the tail of a bone. We need it to be a bit smaller. It doesn't matter how small it is. It's just, I like that size. And from the head of this bone that we've just created, extrude out to cover the entire torso apart from, I mean, maybe end around here. It's your choice. I would end here or here. I'm going to end here actually. And again, from the head of the bone that we just created, extrude again. Now I want these two to have the same length values. So what we're going to do is we're going to press end to open the side panel, or you can just go right here. And I'm going to select this bone right here. So I can see this is a length. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and copy and paste this onto the last bone that we just created right here. And there we are. Now they're both the same length. So all we have right here is just a big bone. That is literally it. You know, it's not doing much considering when we rotate the torso, the arms go, but the torso doesn't. And it's kind of weird. Even when we move around the lower torso, everything goes, but not the head. Hello, I am sorry if that is bad audio quality, but um, I'm not really treating this audio much. And it's just here to tell you that you did learn the head in the last episode. And if you didn't, please go and watch it again. Um, you did go and do the head if you followed everything correctly. The reason, uh, why this whole head thing isn't in this episode is because I realised in the middle of recording the fifth episode that I hadn't done the head in the fourth episode, so I had to put that in the fourth episode. It's a whole complicated thing, but the head does go eventually. So, yeah, you've done everything correctly, don't worry about me. Yeah. Alright, now that's edited into the vertex groups episode, we can continue with the torso episode. So now all we got is just three bones covering the torso and a bit more of that, which isn't really doing much. And when we rotate the lower torso, everything rotates but the torso. So it's kind of sad. So let's fix that. So right here in the object data properties and make sure you're in the bone layer, which has the uh, three bones that we just created, change the display to B bone. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the names of these. So call this torso s handle so this means it's a start handle of the torso call this torso i mean you can call it anything you want i just call it torso i know some people call it torso bendy you can call it whatever you want it really does not matter this right here the top bone changed its name to torso e handle for torso and handle and what we're going to do is add segments to the middle bone for the torso so right here in the bone properties we're going to go to bendy bones in this panel right here and what you want to do is change the segments from one to eight, uh, which is a good pick for me. Uh, but if it isn't, try 10 or you know, try anything. I think eight is good. And now we're going to scroll down and go to start handle. Change this from automatic to absolute and change the end handle to absolute as well. And uh, change the custom part to S handle and change the custom part for the end handle to E handle. Great. Now that's done, go to the bone constraint properties and add a stretch to constraint right here and change the target to the armature and change the bone to the E handle. So to the end handle. Now go into edit mode and select the end handle. Press Alt P on your keyboard and clear the parent. Do not disconnect it though. Then change the parent 
to the upper torso which is in our main bone layer. Your start handle shouldn't have a parent, but if it does clear it, then once that's done, change it to the hip. Now I've done that, add a limit scale constraint to the torso bone and make the minimum all zero, make the maximum one for all axes. Make sure the owner is local space. Now go back to the main layer and change the display at now in the object data properties change the layer back to the main layer and go to the viewport display and change the display as back to octahedral so still nothing going on so what we're going to do is add the vertex group to the torso select the torso and go to the vertex groups right here add one and name it to the name that you set for your torso bones mine was just torso go into edit mode select all faces all vertices or edges whatever you're selecting and make sure the weight is one and click on assign. And now still nothing is going on. This is because we don't have an armature modifier. Just hold down on shift and select the armature. Then press control P and uh, just click on armature deform. Now that should work. There we are, we have a working torso. So everything is moving around, which is amazing. That is exactly what we want. Um, so yeah. That's good. Plus the hip works as well, which is very nice. We want that. So uh, yeah, we've got practically a working rig at the moment. There are no bends though, and it's still kind of weird to pose everything since there's no bone shapes. We will be visiting that in a later episode, but for now we have a somewhat working rig. Well done. Thank you guys for getting this far into the series. We are halfway done with making our rig. So press on, you are almost there. Hope this helped you, hope you enjoyed watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.